Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing really good. Uh, welcome all of you to this special series of costing tips and tricks with KSJ teaching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any important tip and the trick that we are going to tell you. Uh, so first of all, I'll give you the small information about this series that we are going to conduct on YouTube, costing tips and tricks tricks what we are going to cover in this uh, series that how I am going to proceed with the series in this series I am going to take up very small videos of one to two minutes for your convenience and what I am going to do is I am going to tell you some examination tips very important and some important points that you have to remember in the examination okay some important points uh, where there might be a query in your mind I am going to answer those things in this series and if you have any of the queries you can tell me in the comment section if there is a query related to any topic you can tell me in the comment section and I will make a video on that in the costing tips and tricks series okay so this is going to be very small videos of uh, two to three minutes duration so that it is easy for you people to grasp the thing what you people have to do is share with all your friends about this series because this is going to be very informative and very useful from the examination point of view. Second thing that you people have to do is whenever you are watching this series, you have to keep a pen and paper with you. Write down the points that I am going to tell you in this series throughout whatever the points I am going to tell you. You have to note down those points and revise those points again and again. Even one day before the examination also you have to revise those points because those are going to be very important. You have to remember those points while attempting the question in the examination that is going to be really helpful and you can avoid many mistakes if you listen to this series very carefully. Okay, so I am going to tell you uh, the very areas where you people can commit mistakes I will tell you some examination tips so uh, there are multiple things I'm going to cover in this series right so this is very important we'll continue this uh, for a very long time till your examination will come up with the costing one will come up with the financial management also right so my purpose is to help you people score maximum marks right for other courses for detailed courses you can download our Android and iOS mobile apps uh, where for the Republic Day the special offers are also going on and some of the amazing courses you will find there for the questions practice and everything for handbooks you can visit our website all the links are given in the video description do check it out and do not leave the video without the subscription and the press the bell icon okay so the first tip for today the first tip is tip or trick one i can say i'll name it tip one okay so the first tip is related to eoq it is related to EOQ that is it is related to material costing now what happens there is a very common query so let's say there is a question where you have to use ROQ where you have to use ROQ that is reorder quantity but reorder quantity is not given to you but what is given is you have some information from where you can calculate EOQ so always remember one thing always remember one thing do not get confused in the examination always remember that ROQ is equal to EOQ reorder quantity is equal to economic order quantity so in the question if you have the information to calculate economic order quantity calculate economic order quantity and use that as ROQ in the formulas right where the wherever the ROQ is required like in the maximum level it is required so wherever it is required you will use the EOQ but remember one thing unless until uh, unless otherwise stated there is a condition unless otherwise stated there is a question in the Institute PM or somewhere it was where the ROQ is different than the EOQ where he says calculate EOQ and ROQ is 200 less than EOQ right if the question specifically says then it is fine otherwise always remember that ROQ is equal to EOQ unless otherwise stated so read the question very carefully right so this was the first tip for you so stay tuned with this series do not miss out on any of the things for that you have to press the bell icon after the subscription see you guys in the next lecture with the next tip see you guys stay safe stay healthy thank you so much